Okay, so also Michael didn't post a vlog this week. I'm guessing it's because of the weather, but still, here are your punishments. Okay, Alec has made a list of all the games Michael has played. It's on Xbox Live. And uh, Michael can only use those games, nothing new, and he has to raise his game score by 1,000 points by his next vlog. That's Alec's punishment. Chris's punishment is that Michael has to video himself making and eating a fat sandwich. And uh, I'll put the ingredients down below. It's basically uh, the basic parts of a Carl's Jr. $6 burger. Sounds delicious. And for mine, I'm not that creative. I was just thinking you maybe could video yourself going into the church nursery and changing all the diapers for them and giving them a break. Be good practice for you when you have kids one day anyway. So can't wait to see what you choose. Good luck. Hey, everyone. So I'm not really all peppy and upbeat today. Uh, this week has been very emotional, and I'm not even connected to directly to the reason as to why. But um, I just want to talk a little bit. Um, today about the all the tornadoes that have happened in the past week or so. First, we had the awful tornado that killed over 160 people in Joplin, which you don't really hear of that happening a lot these days with the warning system, but it was just so big and so powerful that if you weren't underground and you weren't out of the way, you were dead. And I've never really like lived through anything like that before. Um, I was in Mexico City when uh, May 3rd happened here and more, so I was like on eggshells on Tuesday when we were supposed to have tornadoes. Um, I couldn't sleep at all the night before. I woke up with a sick feeling in my stomach. I was nervous all day, and I didn't know why because normally I really love it when it's like that outside. It's like rainy and dark and makes for good nap time, but I just had a really bad feeling. Anyway... Ryan came home and it was storming pretty bad and Ryan decided that we needed to leave um, the house because we don't have an underground shelter. So that was very scary to be driving and hearing the sirens going off and, you know, trying to think, what can I grab? And I grabbed the kids, the computer, and the camera and we booked it. And luckily it turned before it headed towards Yukon where I live. But um, for those in Piedmont, they weren't so lucky and... We found out today that the little boy that was missing um, was found. His body was found, and he's dead. I think any parent understands why I'm crying right now. I think anyone imagining their child being ripped from their arms and dying alone and scared... It's the worst thing that could ever happen to a parent. I can't imagine the mom and how she feels and how she wishes she would have done something different. So we all just need to pray for the family. They lost both of their sons this week. What do you say? What do you do? <laughs> You can't do anything to bring them back and make it better. Help if you can. Donate if you can. Go out and help clean up if you can. Pray. Um, it just sucks. <laughs>